Alright, I'm getting out of here. You got the store. I'm running to check out a collection. Another collection? Denise, this is the closest I'm ever going to get to retaining or buying a collection that I played with when I was a kid. Really? Yes. Really? I actually played with this collection when I was a kid. Mom got rid of mine, but I'm coming for yours, Matt. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to go check out a collection that was one I played with when I was a kid. My mom got rid of my original collection, but a friend of mine from grade school has this collection. He reached out to me, and he still has it, so we're going to go check it out and see what he has, and I'm going to do everything I can to buy this collection because I used to play with it when I was a kid. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're here with Matt. Matt and I have been friends since, what, Ooh, second grade? Yeah, it had to be. So, yeah. It's yeah, been a long, been time. A long time. So yeah. when we moved back to Michigan, we uh, got back in touch with Matt. I think he just came to the shop, right? No, I did. I did. I, it was uh, the kids would go to Trinity, so it yeah. worked out great. That was cool. And then he said, hey, I found a bunch of old toys. And the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? These are toys I played with. So this is an opportunity for me to purchase a collection of toys that I actually played with. Because the ones I had when I was a kid, my mom got rid of. So I'll never find those again. They're probably in a dumpster or a landfill. I had to fight. I had to fight to keep mine. And as you'll see, if you see some of the basement, you'll see I keep a lot of things. <laughs> so this is your hoarder's paradise, as you put much, it. Pretty much, pretty much. It's an right. organized hoarder's paradise. Well, at least I was going to say you have shelves. I've, I've seen worse. Yes. Yes. No. No. This one this is more organized than my basement and my store. <laughs> so yeah. See, I got that going for me. Well, let's uh, let's check this hey, stuff hey, out, man. and then uh, we could good. we could tell the folks about some of our. Uh, Harrowing yeah. adventures as children. No, so. these toys were definitely played with, so they're not. Uh, these aren't. Uh, these aren't pristine. No, no, no. We were rough. We were rough yeah, with yeah. this stuff, no, guys. And creative. We were very and creative. creative. Yeah. So there's uh, there's a few custom characters, if you know what I mean. There. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I know it wasn't with you, but I know me and my friend. Do you remember Matt and Mike Lazy? That sounds familiar. They were a little younger than us, but my sister was live? friends. They lived on the same street as us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. Okay, yeah, yeah. But we used to take these things and we would put rubber cement on them and light them on fire. Yep. <laughs> it was oh, them. We were horrible with toys when we were kids. The one toy I was very, very remember playing with at your house yeah. was that boggle. Yeah, no, that was pumpkin boggle. That was your thing, and, and it's that, gone. No, that thing. Yeah, it's that didn't make it. That didn't make it for Baldwin's a few years. Never survived. The skin came off. The, yeah. I kept the plastic part for a while because that was pretty cool the way it all worked you know yeah like the skeleton I mean, of it yeah who, has, yeah yeah who has puppets and stuff and the way the eyes move that was that was pretty slick that was ahead of its time yeah they just remade them so yeah no i seen them at your store they're awesome you know you always imagine like i saved all this stuff because i thought like my dad never saved any of his yeah. stuff so i thought man my son he'll play with this stuff and they come down and you remember it as something like different then when yeah. I started laying it out, I'm like, man, these things are they were well played with. And uh But they were was, well loved, you know. We no, they were these things. Oh man. No, I mean I, I mean I wasn't too into uh, like the Transformers and the He Man and stuff, so this was pretty exclusively like this and Legos. And I, I did the mask and the yeah. you know, Star Wars wasn't really my thing. I, I don't remember even how I I think my dad bought me that stuff. So yeah. but uh got the old dad out here. Yeah. So it's like, it's like a mix of stuff. Like so you got a lot of those, like parts. Yeah, know? well that was that's the only remaining mask stuff that right is, there. That is that's um, that semi semi truck cab. There's and, uh, not much left of it, but no. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, that's uh that's that's the only mask left, and that's surprising because I thought I saved that stuff because it was I small. Playing with a lot of the yeah. masks, I had the I mean, why, why would yeah I had that too, and why would I have gotten rid of that? Yeah. So, so that goes to. Uh, I but I thought I had the two aircraft carriers, and those those I can only you find got pieces of one. Yeah. I can only find pieces of one. So that's from a Y wing, I think. Yeah, I think there's a landing gear from it or something. Uh, like. Oh, that might be from a that's from the Millennium Falcon. Falcon. Yeah. 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 Man, yeah, we, some guys, you know, we were like, savages, man. No, you ain't kidding. <laughs> but they're cool, you know. We yeah, got no. Parts for some of this. You got some accessories over here. Oh yeah. No, you no, know, no. and even if these guys aren't in good enough shape to really do much with, you know, you can take the weapons and put them with other ones. Yep. You know, surprisingly enough, his belt has survived. Most of the time, this is oh, broken, broken up on him. Oh no way. Yeah. Man. See. So, yeah. See so you go. Hey, he's you actually go. in good shape. I was I say, he's not like actually him. tight. Yeah. Almost not like that. You couldn't find him. He's camouflaged. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, remember, I had him for years and just couldn't find him. I played with him outside mainly, you know, I mean, yeah. especially stuff like this was huge. House, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, it's all covered in dirt. There's bird poop on the main deck because I had that in my barn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, that main deck thing was in the barn yeah. when, we, when we lived in, in Bruce. So, but uh, no, this, I mean, it is, I, I can't remember what that base was called. That was part of the G.I. Joe headquarters. Okay. Because yep. I, I got pieces of that over here too. I was kind of going through things. I couldn't remember. There's a bunch of slot car stuff. I don't know if that's. Anything that I had the Night Rider set, I do remember that. Oh yeah, but you got uh, some. Uh, man, I love that buggy. That's why that this thing's thing here. destroyed. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, 
Oh, he's dead. But I got the motor there and the cover. That's probably. Huh? Oh, yeah, there you go. Huh? The antenna's got a yeah, little well, load. You know, uh, it was tasty. This is how Matt played with toys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, pretty much. <laughs> when you need this. Yeah. Oh, John, what'd you do? I know, I was in mint condition. <laughs> <laughs> but like you could take that thing off and put it on yeah, another one exactly. that's nice well, what uh, the bug yeah that must have been right near there. the end too yeah right? that was one of the newer ones yeah like uh, so no this do you remember this when we tried to go ride down the uh the, the raging river behind your grandpa's house well, yeah tell the story how you almost killed me man <laughs> i did i was uh i was a very uh motivated uh young man i had uh, big aspirations to raft on the clinton river and how old were we? We had been like, oh god, we were probably 10, 10 or 11. Or maybe, and yeah. It was like a storm, like the it night was, before. It was. It, no, well, it was storming even when we were going. Exactly. I remember white, being dark. white caps on the floor. Yeah. It was dark, and we, we had a rubber raft, yeah. and we floated down the pond, and we got to this part where we had to take the raft out to get into the river. And, uh, and I, I remember you, I can't remember who we were with. I know my brother's you, Maybe your that? brother, Tom, or Ilko, I can't Somebody, remember. Somebody, yeah. But I, I remember you guys were apprehensive, and uh, my grandpa. Thank God, came out of the woods. He no, no, and he must have been watching us the whole time, wondering what we were doing. But he was, you know, yeah. letting us go. And uh, yeah, he saved us because uh, I was determined oh, yeah. to get into that raft. You yeah, know? we, we got only right. knows what would have happened. Yeah, we wouldn't thing, be here talking to yeah, you guys. This probably would have been happening, right? <laughs> so then we have some other stuff over here. Yeah, no, we this is like the shell of the terror drum. Really yeah, no, it's bat. it's pretty beat up. But this is one that you can like a lot of these pieces can be skip, you know salvaged. Yeah, oh definitely. Nice, yeah. So. Well, but the pieces that held the guns, I, I can't believe I don't have those. You know, weren't there like the bigger pieces that these yeah, they like, were like guns, that, that yeah, but snapped they, in, and yeah. then these would sit like that. Yeah, yeah. There would be another thing that it came out, and that would sit It'd on. Sit on it, yeah. But yeah, no caps. Like those. I can't. Yeah, yeah. Those are like a little uh, wire knot, you know. Yep. Oh, it's incredible how how broken everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, at least you have here no, stuff. No, I, I will. Like I had a whole the whole Voltron thing. And that's all the only that's thing. All the that's green line. It looks like he's trying to run away. Yeah, he, like he, he tucked his tail and he's, he's like, I'm out. That, I mean, that's it. That's all that's left. I, the only toy of mine that I did find when I moved back was the black lion from Voltron. Oh, no way. Yeah. Well, I must have tossed it in our attic, and mm. my brother-in-law found it, it in lived. the insulation. The G.I. Joe's you'd buy, they would have, like, the micro G.I. Yeah, Joe's yeah. in the pack. That's what, that's what that guy's yep. broke. I mean, that guy's actually not broken. It's, it's gung-ho right few there, toys. Man. Yep, gung-ho. He doesn't have his EGA on him, but... Hoorah, gung-ho. He was a Marine. He was a Marine. And these are newer, so these are, like, from the yeah, 90s. Yeah, those are, yep. So did you get back into playing with toys when you were... Uh, I thought uh, I was going to collect them, right? And that's why I saved the boxes, and then I opened them up. Well, if it makes you feel better, <laughs> these aren't worth it. <laughs> yeah, probably not, yeah. Yep, they, they probably never were going to be. The stuff from the 90s, man. There's very, very few things that are, you know, Well, they valuable. just, they, they probably made a gajillion of them. Well, everyone right? saved them, too. Like yeah, you yeah. said, I saved the boxes. So well, that's going to be worth exactly. something. Exactly. Yeah. I think people started to get into that collecting yep. mode. Because they saw, oh, know? if I have these Star Wars in the box, they're worth yep. all this money. And exactly. then it's like, if I save these, well, everyone yeah. did that. So, like, I was trying to sell some of the 90s era Star Wars stuff, and it's the same no. price, yeah. like, it, or less. Oh, than yeah, the you were telling me that. Yeah, it's how much you bought it in the 90s. Yeah. Ah, that didn't, uh, you weren't making your money back there. Yeah. Maybe in 10,000 years. I don't yeah. know. If it, if it survives. What about you? I didn't, I didn't see any micro machines at your place. So we do have micro machines, and I'm stuffing these away somewhere, and I got yeah. a plan. I got the train, though. That's probably, well, I, I don't even know if I have the complete thing. I, the tracks are somewhere. I remember seeing Oh, they seeing actually them. had tracks for them? Yeah. See, I never really got big into, like, the die cast or the little cars and stuff yeah. like that. I don't, you know, I don't know why I, I found those intriguing. Because they're micro. Yeah, yeah. Hey. You can break it. Even. No, no, no. Of course not. I, mean, I, I was just Honestly, I don't, I don't recall you. The toys. Yeah, I don't recall you breaking any of my stuff, to be honest with you. I, I, I really, I can't remember anybody else breaking my stuff. I remember <laughs> me breaking my stuff. Anyways, cool. Not not too spectacular, but uh, hey, this is what's you know left. What? The stuff, the, the wreckage. The wreckage, the wreckage of is a, sometimes what a you youth. need to make something uh, whole again, you know what I mean? Yep. From the ashes. Cool. Pretty neat. Well, let's uh, see what works something out. I don't know why I feel compelled. I felt compelled to buy this because I played with it. No, no, you did. Hey, I'm a, probably gonna find a piece I remember or like the best. Some, like keep there's uh, some intrinsic value. So, guys, as you can see, this collection is beat to heck. But I did a lot of the beating to make it this way. Um, we're gonna salvage what we can. Maybe make some part slots. So, if you guys are crafters, customizers, and you want to get a little piece of uh, the collection that I used to play with as a young lad, um, you can make that happen. I know uh, I got a couple guys that come in and customize on the job, so we're gonna have some new custom fodder. But I'm gonna find 
one of these guys I'm probably going to hold on to and like breed him because it was something that I had. But maybe that green eye lion, like the green Voltron lion, because I found the black one in my house. There you go. Maybe the red ones at like Paul's house. Yeah, that could maybe, be. We could have had like Blood Brothers, the Voltron Brothers. <laughs> we should have done that. Probably the uh, the closest I will ever get to reclaim my uh, childhood toys. Sadly, they are uh, they are beat to heck. So we're gonna see what we can salvage and uh, go from there. But uh, it's pretty cool to find something that I actually had a personal connection to from when I was a kid. As far as some of the toys, being that I sell toys for a living now, so finding this while they might be destroyed, they were well loved, and it was something that I had a hand in destroying, I guess. So, anyways, guys, we're gonna get the stuff back to the shop and. Uh, We'll see you at the shop.